Well, it's unfortunate that I didn't try to um, fix the camera or the tripod um, earlier. So I tried to circumvent the issue with it. It's basically it points backwards uh, the way it connects with my camcorder. So the stick, the final adjusting stick, is always in view. So I was, it's driving. It was, so I kind of forced the all the time to go the other way. But anyways, last night I had a flash of brilliance and I took it apart um, and put it backwards. Unfortunately, I couldn't re-thread the screw, so I just crazy glued the living dickens out of it. Works great, except because I screwed with this so much, this part is loose forever. But at least I don't have the... it's nowhere near as bad as it used to be. But anyways, that's it. Yeah, I'm hoping to goodness I'll stick to... Um, not go off into ramble land so we'll see what happens here I finished up well essentially the Austro-Hungarians because from here on in it's going to be uh, all the Germans Christ they didn't clue into that um, so I looked at all the orders everybody's got their various orders from uh, uh, Brejevich over here in Shemish and part of the whole objective here is to try to push these guys. it's to take this spot for the poor uh, first corps over here for first army um eighth corps is doing a supportive attack i'm trying like uh remember it's kind of like they're doing the artillery support for uh first Ar army to go across i think that's how it yeah that's how it's doing it um i'll take a look i'm pretty darn sure anyways there's eighth corps there uh eighth corps had one supply point the problem is, is that way over here, I want to make, and you can see it, goody, um, way over here, I want to make an attack next turn. And I've calculated that I'm going to use 28 attacking strength points. That'll give me, because they're across woods, I do believe, hold on here, yep, they're across woods, and I was like, screw this, I've had enough. And with 28 straight, uh, I'm not going to show you the thing, but uh with 28 attacking strength points, uh, with a minus two, the the worst I can do is two hits, and the most I can do is five hits. That's impressive. So I thought, you know what, we're going with that. Uh, the thing is, I just make it if I can bring in five supply points. Uh, um, uh, what's his diddle over here? Um, Bruderman, Von Bruderman. Um, he had four supply points, I brought in a fifth. Now here's the kicker, for me anyways, is that I wanted to play with the narrative. And I was like, wait a minute, I knew there was a lot of competition between you know armies and corps and so on and so forth and hoarding of supply and whatever. And this guy has one supply point. These guys have been told what to do. It's like, so I went off to take a look and uh, uh, see what the generals were like. That's why I've always loved going to Wikiland and taking a look. Anyways, this guy here, Victor Donkel, I was taking a look, and he had, uh, it says here, um, he had ignored an order given by Archduke Eugen to advance at a faster pace uh, due to the lack of artillery. And um, I was like, holy shit, that's just exactly what I'm kind of doing. He's like moving, um, I've been asking uh, those guys to remove, uh, take away a, a supply point, and he probably would have said, screw that. So I was going to roll for it. However, I was like, wait a flipping minute. Let's take a look at the at, at the combat uh, odds uh, kind of thing. Um, like I said, people have... That's why I love watching other people's videos and so on and so forth because they talk about combat odds and so on and so forth. So anyways, if I go in completely unsupplied, I hope you can see that, 11 attacking strength points, and this is what's going to happen if I roll a 6, a 5, a 4, a 3, you get the whole idea. So at bare minimum, I'm going to hit, uh, I, you know, I could, I got 1 in 6 chance of doing 2 hits. Now if I go up and supply, and use that 1 supply point, I'll get uh, 13 strength points, just do the way it works, and um, I get a one in, uh, 1 in 3 chance of doing 2 hits. So I was like, is that really worth it? And I said no. I'm just going to go with it. And of course, I didn't know what the Russians had uh, over here for um, counterattacking or, you know, any strength points that they could put towards the counterattack. 
Uh, I'm a lucky little devil that it's only three. It's because we've been whittling away. That was the whole point. I mean, I don't know if you watched uh, the whatevers, but the pre the previous stuff was I've been hammering slowly away at this little bugger. Um, and the Fifth Army, the Russian Fifth Army, has not reinforced that position, so this is awesome. Uh, because there's uh, basically no chance that uh, I can't force a retreat. Uh, the best I, I'm going to be able to do or the, mo uh, the best I can do is force, two, uh, I'll do two hits, but it'll always be brought down to one hit. So regardless, uh, what I roll, uh, just due to the fact that they'll be forced to retreat, it's always one third. Um, here, I'll zoom on in. I wanted you to see the whole whatever before we go into whatever, but I can't go too much because I have to show you the dice tower. Hold on here. Let's do it. That looks pretty good. I think you can see. Let's hope so. Um, so I'll just quickly go. Uh, yeah, I'm really damn happy. I moved a few troops here. The uh, The first corps had this entire line over here across the sand. And then I just moved this one little tiny uh, unit over here from the second corps. Well, why not? Uh, I can't wait to talk to you about this later on. Uh, Rob came over and he was like, this is where I'd go. Oh I, oh, I had a good long talk with him. That was fun about that. Anyways. And, oh my gosh, I'm so glad I brought that up. I was staring at the, um, 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 oh, darn it. I can't even remember the name of it. It's been so flipping long. Uh, come on, the breakthrough. Um, the Tarnath. Um, oh, goodness, goodness gracious, Chris. Uh, no, it's gone. It's out of my head. The, well, we all know what it was. But anyways, I was thinking afterwards, it's like, because uh, when I was thinking of into um, the 1915, uh, the Golitz, uh, Tarnath, break, uh, Tarnath Breakthrough, or the Great Retreat, goodness gracious. Um, in 1915, I was like, okay, everybody's going to be entrenched. It's going to be like, you know, it's going to be like Western Front. And I was like, wait a minute. In the Golitz, uh, uh, Tarnath Breakthrough, and later on with the Brusilov Offensive and so on and so forth, uh, there's tons of movement still in the Eastern Front, even with... Um, uh, you know what I mean? Even with the, um, uh, everybody being entrenched like a maniac. So I was like, okay, Chris, you're going to be okay. Like there's still going to be some amazing movement. I think if, uh, I don't play my cards right either side. So that's that. I'm going to go quickly here. Oh, well, I should, maybe don't have to go quickly. So like I said, I've moved some, I moved troops over here from the first core. It's in total. Uh, we're going to have 11, um, um, on attacking uh, strength points. There's 22 there, and that's just the way it goes, like you saw uh, earlier on. So uh, here we go, minus two. I'm, this is all for whatever. They're forced to retreat, and that's just life. All righty. Let's just see what happens. Can you see that? No, you can't. I um, will not try to move it. So it's a two, and we know that means one hit. The, uh, the Russians will be forced to retreat. Uh, obviously, they're going to go towards the fifth, uh, the fifth Army Corps. I don't know what, uh, what that is. I can go look it up. Hold on here. Who do they belong to? Maybe. I think I've been doing that with the Russians. Maybe I haven't. I've been a bit more... Um, yeah, I can't wait to uh, start getting a bit better with whatever. Oh, okay. While I'm looking this up, wait until you flip in. Uh, I finished, man. I can't believe I did the grand strategy for Great Britain. Like, I know exactly what they're going to be doing for the remainder of the... Oh, my... I just lost my flipping marbles. Oh, it's the 8th Corps. Okay. So they're, uh, they belong to the 8th Corps um, for the Russian 5th Army. All right. So they're going to be forced to retreat. I'm not going to supply the attack because they're forced to retreat. What's the point? I'm going to keep my supply. It just doesn't make sense. Um, so that means they're right back up to three strength points with a plus one to their die roll. You get me? And obviously I'm going to get the four, uh, the um, the first core to move on up. It's a one. Two, two a two doesn't really matter. Okay, I'm just going to put in a placeholder, or it doesn't really matter. But you get the idea, I think. Yeah, I'm absolutely blown away, man, that I um, 
did the Great Britain thing. It just was like, you got to be joking. So now I moved on to, I mean, you got to remember, I think about this and then don't think about it. Like I wander around in my head. I let my daydreams do their thing. Um, so now I'm next, I'm going off to the Austro-Hungarians and I'm uh, quite surprised at how much I've done about it. So I'll pop this off to the side here. Yeah, I was really impressed. So I'll put in a... Yeah, I shouldn't do that. I'll put it in a place over there. I'm not going to move that hole on. Oh, well, maybe I would, wouldn't I? Hmm. Well, let's just put a placeholder in for now. Number 23. Yeah, you can see here I've got all these, like, um, this is where the extra uh, BGs are, the battle groups. And the first one that I see when I uh, stare at it, it's like, well, you're going in there. That's the way it's going to be. Oh, so, uh, yeah, I did say I did try to fix the, uh, <laughs> saying to my boss, oh, I was going to go buy a ridiculously expensive uh, camera tripod, so it's going to compensate that I fixed it for the, um, the Sun Tzu book there from Folio. But, uh, you know, oh, yeah, and then well, I already moved them off. Okay, so that's it, I think, um, for this. Um, yep. You, oh boy, oh boy, I can't wait to do the uh, proper write-up for Great Britain's grand strategy. All I can say is it's got nothing to do with the war. The war is a, um, an opportunity. That's the way they're looking at it. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh man, this has just been a flipping, yeah. Oh, I, oh, I, I just, uh, so happy. Oh my god, I didn't do the um I didn't do the roll. Uh well it doesn't matter. Three with a nope, no hits. I know this has been a fantastic turn for the Austro-Hungarians and Central Powers in total. I think the Austro-Hungarians have dropped the uh well hold on, it was originally 89, the magic number. Holy shit, it's down to 86. So they've dropped it down by three points. Which means it's a long way to go. Ha! Ha! Imagine that. 86 more demoralization points Russia has to take. The Central Powers have to take nothing in basically a turn and a half. Give me a bloody... Oh my god, I've got the Germans next. <laughs> Sorry. This is going to be... Wicked! Alright, see ya.